Afternoon, Andoni. Great to see you. Afternoon. Obviously, a disappointing result against Manchester City, uh, and to concede six goals, we know it's Manchester City. <coughs> Have you had to do anything with the players this week to to bring a bit of positivity to the group, to to just give them that bit of a boost off the back of that disappointing result? No, we, we analyze the game the same way we analyze the others. I think it's a harsh result from from the team. Uh, uh, I think to lose six one. I, I think they shot eight times on target and they scored six. They were uh, really very clinical. And uh, it's true that we were coming from, I think, two good games. The ones we played against Burnley, Liverpool. And uh, we want to take this route and continue the same way we played last two games, especially here at home. And uh, we hope that uh, Manchester's game was kind of, of, a, of a different kind of game. One of the other big blows was the injury to Alex Scott. Could you just tell us what the latest is with him and how long he's likely to be out for? Yeah, how long is always difficult to say because it depends the evolution, the medical staff, what they think. Uh, he has an MCL sprain. It's a great two. So uh, I think Taff had the same injury in pre-season. But on the other day. Tavernier, name. yeah. Yeah, Tavernier, Marcus Tavernier had the same injury. Alex is in the other knee. He's in the other knee. Nothing involved with the with the previous injury, but is what the uh, what the 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 doctors have have told us. Yes. And in terms of any other players that might be coming back fit or anyone else that won't be available, uh, Neto has has been training with us this week. And uh, the only ones we have out are the the ones that have been uh, out uh, from the from the beginning, and uh, plus Alex, obviously. Up next, Newcastle. Um, some people may say this is a good time to play Newcastle because they played in the Champions League, they've lost, but more importantly, they've got large injuries. I think there's about nine or ten first team players not available. Bruno suspended. So people say this is the perfect time. What do you say? I will give them all the all the injury players. I will take mine also. And for th for me, it will be much much better. I think they have a very good team. They they they, they played they, they played against Borussia Dortmund, and they left Anthony Gordon and Almiron on the bench. You know, and probably they will start tomorrow and they will be rested. Callum Wilson only only played 45. Uh, they have a very good team. They have a really good team. They are doing really well, and uh, we expect uh, the best Newcastle because it's what we will have tomorrow. It's, uh, if we are thinking otherwise, we are starting in 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 the wrong spot. You've obviously got a a pre-existing relationship with with Eddie Howe from before you became the Bournemouth manager. Can you tell us a little bit about the times that you've met him? I know he's been over to Spain, and you've had a. You know, you've had some good conversations about football and about coaching and about philosophies. Can you tell us a little bit about the start of that relationship and and how it's progressed over the years? Yeah, I think it's uh, it's something normal between coaches. Sometimes we spend some time together watching different trainings, talking about the game. But it's true. That once you start uh, coaching a team and we start doing each one starts with his job. Uh, we kind of uh, respect each other, you know, we we try not because it's true that uh, you can know other coaches uh, from from the same league, but normally while you are in the competition, there's normally no much, no much contact. When Eddie was out of work before he became the Newcastle manager, I believe he watched a bit of your Rayo Vallecano side and, and came to training and stuff. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, uh, the same way he came uh, to, to to see us and and, and and to to spend some 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 days with with us, he went with other teams also, I'm sure, and he 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 tried to speak with with a lot of people. It's what uh, normally the all the managers do. Uh, whenever you have your time, you you try to to see other things, other teams, other trainings, and uh, I think it's something normal. When you got approached to become the Bournemouth head coach, was, was Eddie someone you spoke to? Was he someone you, you gauged opinion off of before accepting the job, just to find out a little bit about the club? No, knowing, knowing that uh, days, knowing that moment. Uh, no, no, knowing uh, we, 
Uh, he, he sent me a, a message uh, whenever it happened, uh, but, but it's true that once uh, the, the, the managers, once you are already in a team, you have your, normally we we try to keep some, some distance. It happens with, with uh, almost all, all the managers I know. Thank you. Just staying on that theme, man, Donny, um, you, I read a quote you gave back uh, earlier on in the season when you said, everyone here talks about Eddie. Um, what mindset does that give you going into this weekend's game, your first match against him? Yeah, I think it will be a very uh, special game for him, for sure. For sure, because he has been here for, for a lot of time. It's true that he came, I think, past three, so no, he came here. Uh, uh, but at the end, uh, he, he will try to win us the game. He will prepare as good as he can. He will put the best 11 he has. And uh, we have to do the same, no? Uh, for sure, we will talk uh, after the game, and uh, we will speak about a lot of things. But like we do with with other managers, but for him, I'm sure it's it's going to be very special because whenever you return to a place where you've been so successful, you've been so for sure so so happy, uh, it has to be special for sure. Does it give you the same feeling in trying to beat Gary O'Neill as somebody else who's previously sat in that seat? No, because uh, I, I I don't know Gary. You know, I just uh, met him the, the day of the of the game, and uh, I, I don't have this this previous relationship. No, that I can have with with uh, with Eddie. Just wanted to pick up on something you said about speaking to people in the game. Is there people in English football outside of this club that you speak to about English football? Yes, yes, I speak with a lot of people like uh, everyone else does, you know, it's uh, about experiences, about, uh, but each, uh, each team is different, each club is different, each coach is different, it's, uh, at the end, uh, you can, you can speak, but everyone has his own situation, concrete situations, it's uh, difficult to talk, so generally, I think. You have Lewis Cook back from suspension. Uh, given Alex Scott's injury, particularly, how important is that return of Lewis? Yes, I think it's good we we recover Lou because, especially in the middle, uh, uh, we we are short of, of, of players, and I think uh, he can he can be a good good addition, good help for the team. Yeah. And obviously, last week you changed the system at Manchester City. M many people will do going there. Did that give you any food for thought about what you might be able to do with? The players you have here in terms of changing the way you have been playing no uh, the other day we changed because we we thought we could match better with with three center backs because they put so many players up front so at the end you can match better even if we wanted to be aggressive we didn't do it first half we were too low second half i think we were better more aggressive uh, it's probably difficult to keep the the message whenever you Sometimes you put three centre backs. It, all, all the people might think, okay, they went very defensive, very low, uh, compact. We, we we didn't want to do this. We were forced, especially first half. Uh, but it was a, a matter of the specific specific game uh, against uh, against City. We can use it against uh, other teams. Uh, but uh, I think it gives us options. Yes. Just finally from me, Luis Sinistera scored obviously last weekend. Is it right to say that he has been, it's been a fitness issue with him, getting him up to the level of, of match fitness that you need from him? Uh, yes, I think he, when he came in, he was good as a sub, uh, but uh, probably he needed a little bit more of, of uh, physical work. I think he's someone who is training really well in trainings. He's given everything, he's trying to improve, he's trying to help the team, whatever his position has been. And I'm happy he he scored. For me, the winger's position is is really a tough one for the for for the manager because we have six, I would say six very good wingers, uh, and it's always very difficult for me because they are all available. Uh, we faced, we played against Varley, Antoine did very well, scores a goal. We played against Liverpool. We introduced Justin, did very well, scored a goal. The other day, Luis Sinisterra comes from the bench, scores a goal. So at the end, you can think, OK, we, we've taken goals, we've taken good performances from, from the winger's position, but we play next week or we play tomorrow, and I have to take the decision. It's not easy, but it's, it's a position where it's very difficult for me to have six players happy. It's impossible. No, it's very difficult. It's impossible. <laughs> 
uh, I will have two happy, two less happy because they play less minutes and two probably uh, uh, angry with me. But it, it has to be like this football, you know. But uh, it's, it's a good problem to have. For the performance-wise, for the team, it's good because at the end, everyone is trying to get the minutes he has, trying to take the opportunity, and it's something we need.